just got back from a little break that um, I was having. Uh, we just got back last week on Thursday. Uh, we were away for two days. Well, it feels like three days, but it was actually two days. So, yeah, so I couldn't do this in advance because I was taking a break. Um, I think I did it because this year has been a lot for me personally-wise. If you've been, um, you know, with me uh, with videos of updates and stuff like that. There's been a lot going on with going on there's a lot of co there's a lot of stuff going on with me this year personal wise but i'm okay if you're wondering but yeah but um anyway so yeah so i just edited just the other day so yeah so we just got back i edited it just the other day so yeah so anyway we are going to our average amongst the squiggle and chip right here the top 10 chart on netflix oh very exciting news for um them as well i are you shocked by this i was also shocked by this because just the other day speaking of netflix i was just on netflix the other day and i'm like Huh, that's interesting, because I saw Alan Chibok's chip ranked on the top 10 chart, and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I was like, char charted at what, like number one or two or something, which is crazy and fantastic, but also so exciting as well, because you want to, you want these to, you know, um, especially when it comes to this franchise, you want it to be popular. I mean, I know it was popular before, but streaming has just made it like popular popular so yeah so anyway we're going to talk about this i think i have a reason why uh the squiggle and shipwrecked i made it on the top 10 chart on netflix as well so we'll discuss that later on in this video so yeah so anyway so you can check out all my videos of alan shipwrecked's netflix content as well um i'm not sure are you guys mm, I, I know it's a bit hard but um you know sometimes like i see viewers come back so I'm like, I'm not sure if you guys have subscribed or not. So if I could give you a piece of advice, if you're just here for Chimmer content, just subscribe anyway, so you can get so you can get updates as well. So that's like the most easier way to do it. Because if you just come back, there's just like, oh, you know. But if you, well, I do a lot of different things than this, so you might not be interested. But just subscribe anyway, so you can just get so you can just get all the updates, all the videos, all the one. Because it's much easier than just like going back on there as well. So that's my advice to you guys if you want to do that. You don't have to, but I'm just saying it's just much easier to do that as well if you're interested in this content as well as I as I am. So yeah. So anyway, it's just been well. I just I found this article uh uh before I before I went away actually. Oh cool, I'll cover it is. So our little the squeakle and shipwreck has reached the top ten chart on Netflix like I said before, and I got a little bit of an article uh. You know, um, I've got a little bit of article uh, saying about this as well. So I just get that all scared. This is the only way I have to do this. So I'm so sorry in advance. But PowerPoint won't let me pause it because I paused it. I tried it one time and it didn't work. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so this has so... Netflix, so this is like gone global, so it's all around the world. So this, uh, so Alex versus Google and Shipwrecked have reached multiple platforms worldwide and global as well, which is like the what the whole entire worldwide nation, which is insane, but also crazy, but also very good as well. So globally, we're talking about not just here, we're talking about the whole wide world about this. So that that's just really phenomenal to see as well. Okay, so the Alan and Chibok's franchise has unexpected Netflix comeback as both Alan and Chibok's and Squiggle, like we talked about before, and Alan Chibok's Chipwrecked, again, make it into the global top 10 for the week of October 23rd through October 29th. So, so basically, like, because Netflix, um, Netflix, uh, if you haven't seen my other Netflix video, Netflix kind of goes off and on with their, um, you know, movies, especially if they don't, if they don't, um, own the movies as well, so you see them kind of take things off and then put them back on, so I'm guessing during October, before Halloween, maybe, I'm guessing, maybe, um, it hit the overall top 10 charts on Netflix as well, so I think that's what they're trying to say. Shipwrecked, the third movie, made the chart for the second week in a row, this time coming at, in at number five, with, get this, 3.9 million views. Wow, that's a lot. So, uh, for the second week in a row, Chipwrecked made it in, Chipwrecked, the third movie, made it in the second week in a row. Second week. So, it's been um, charting since the first week on Netflix, which is insane, but that's incredible as well. So, in the second week, it came at number five with 3.9 million views. So, it's kind of like, because with movies, I don't know, movies, box of the works. But I guess you get a ticket and they just count that in as how many people see the movie. But with streaming, it's like when you watch a YouTube video, you get lots of, lots of views or something. 
And that's how, you know, they have like a graph. I think Netflix have a graph of how many people watch their content as well. It's kind of like with analytics as well, because I've got a little app on you. I've got a little app saying how many videos, how many people watch my videos. So that's kind of what they're basically saying. The Squid Wall, the second movie, came in at number 10 with 2.6 million views last week. So number 10. So Shipwreck is much higher than The Squid Wall, which is interesting because Shipwreck didn't do so well in the theaters. I mean, it was a good movie, but The so Squid Wall was like, what, um, 4.99 million at the box office? Kind of think of it. So yeah, so that's very interesting as well. It just goes to show you, you know, stream is possible. You know, t times have changed and a lot of things are going to, you know, pop up as well, you know, like, it could be, like, movies or TV shows, like, wow, this, this has become really popular, and Netflix, when there's a new release of a series or a movie of theirs, it's, like, top 10, like, straight like that, like, I watched a movie, a uh, Christmas movie with my mum on Sunday called Janie, and that was, like, in top 10 the next day, so that's incredible, so that's also really amazing as well for the strategies as well. Okay, so the Squiggle and Shipwrecked, like we were talking about earlier and now, the Squiggle and Shipwrecked were not only animated films to make the Netflix charts this week. That's better. So even though Shipwrecked and the Squiggle were in the top 10, they were, a new, they were not the only animated movies um, in, to make it to the top 10 Netflix chart as well. So this week, so uh, this week, um, although I don't know about like this week coming or this week, I don't know, but but this week, to talk about this week, the Alvin and Chipmunks sequels were joined by three other animated films. Monster High, the movie, uh, coming in at number six with 3.8 million views. Uh, Minions at number eight with three million views. Well, that's the hard time trying to be in too. At number nine with 2.8 million views. Not only are our all, not only are all five of these movies animated? Well, would you count Monster High as an anime movie? I would say live action movie, but they do have an animated series, which is on Prime Video or on Paramount if you have that, so I guess, I don't know. But all of them are either sequels or spin-offs or TV shows. Monster High the movie or existing franchise minions. So it's either the sequels or spin-offs or the TV shows from basically like that. So I guess it may be... Alan Chibunks, the TV show, I guess he was on there, or like, because they say spin-off shows as well, so it's not actually, so it's not actually the first movie, it's more about the sequels and the spin-off shows, because Mindy's is a spin-off of The Spickle Me, um, Hotel Transylvania, the second movie, um, was, you know, a sequel to the Hotel, Trans to the Hotel Transylvania, the first movie, and Monster High, I do, I do believe they have a sequel, but it's not on Netflix, I don't think. So, Monster High as well. So, it just depends. But, yeah, but I think that's very fascinating as well, you know, to see, you know, things trend. Because when they're trending, you mean, it means that people are watching it and loving it as well. So, that's very interesting as well. So, yeah, so this is very good. Very good idea. I'm very happy with this. Um, Netflix should consider, you know, just leaving all the amateur books movies on um netflix because it just someone commented to me say will the will uh netflix um someone commented to you a while ago say will they bring the amateur bucks movies back on netflix and i said yeah of course you know they keep rotating their roster all the time and i was kind of right about that like oh my god i'm so smart as in a way i think i am so yeah so i i think at this point they should just leave it on there because i'm sure there's a lot of people who want to watch them and if you take them off like oh where's this fabulous movie i want to watch so if i were netflix i would you know, leave them on there, and also this gives a possibility for Alan to have five as well, because if it, because if this, because if, yeah, because if these movies are trending, then that means there's possibility for Alan to have five, which, which I discussed in my other videos as well, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what they come up with as well. So, Alan to the Squid Wall and Shipwrecked are the only two movies out of the first movie and the fourth movie are, that are actually traded on Netflix. So, no first movie, no fourth movie, which is really strange, but I guess I kind of understand. I think I know why that is. The first movie um, did not have the Chipettes, and also Road Trip, even though they were kind of in Road Trip a little bit, uh, they, weren't, um, uh, they weren't the main characters in that movie as well. So, I guessing it has to do something with the chipettes i think that's why they're trending because alice rose and squiggle introduced the chipettes but also they're in chipwreck as well so i think people like 
uh, the coupling of the chipmunk and the chipmunk as well, which I discussed about in, in another video as well. And also, you know, how can you not have the chipettes? You know, it's they're crucial to the franchise. I say that literally. They're crucial to the franchise, and I'm sick of the creators. You know, taking them, um, like leaving them on the sidelines. You know, being benched and stuff because we don't want these. Because we won't, we don't want that for these characters. And they're popular to bear today. Still, are they just? Uh, they just celebrated their 39th anniversary a while ago this year, so that's interesting as well. So, yeah, so I think it's important that, you know, the chipettes are crucial to this franchise, and you should never, 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 never leave them on the sidelines, because in Roadship, they were, uh, they were benched through the whole movie, like, uh, where are the chipettes? Where's Brittany? Where's Jeanette? Where's Eleanor? So, we, they were in the movie, kind of, but I wish there was sort of more in the movie. And they explain it on the podcast why that is. But, you know, you could, you could have done a father and son story and also have the chipettes. So I'm like, why don't sideline the chipettes and make it all about Dave and the chipmunks? You know, the chipettes are a big part of the part of the franchise today. And if they weren't created or, the, or didn't even exist, then, then, then I, don't think, I don't think the chipmunks all day would survive in this world, like I said in before my other previous videos as well. So just got to show you female characters count. And I'm sure kids are like, I don't know, the demographic for this. But I'm sure a lot of people are watching this and enjoying it. So that's, I think that's why it's trending as well. So I think that's why you don't see the first movie or the fourth movie trending. Only because it's, only because the Chibats are not in that. So I think that's the reason, you know. Also, both Chipwright and the Squiggle have really good stories to tell. I mean, also Road Trip. But like, you know, if you want to think of storytelling mode, then the Squiggle and Chipwrecked as well. So, yeah, so this is fantastic. Um, we'll see what happens next. Um, you know, this gives props to Alan from Spy, which we have talked about before. Maybe, hey, maybe, um, I know Netflix kind of um, said they didn't want the Chipmunks a while ago, but maybe they should reconsider. Although Netflix is not really an IP brand, Disney's more like an IP brand. So maybe they didn't want to take them. It's because they're more of an IP state. And Disney and Warner Brothers have IP characters, but they don't. You know, Netflix just puts out a movie like, oh, here you go, there's a Netflix movie. But they don't actually own the characters. But wouldn't it be, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be amazing? They don't have to be IPs. They could just be like you know, um, like, make one movie a year and put it on Netflix and, like, bam, top ten. It's, wouldn't that be amazing if they did that? So, we'll see what happens. But this opens doors, like, limitless doors. So, we'll see what happens. So, what do you think of uh, this breaking news story? Are you excited? Should they consider, should Netflix consider buying the Jamelz at this point? I think they should. You know, they're going to do something. And also, do you think this will open doors to Alley Drugs 5 as well? So let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to Melissa Media. Also, you can follow me on Instagram.